Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode four of Breadboard Builds. Um, the circuit in this video is going to be a little bit different than the other ones I've done. Before I've done, um, I, the, the theme, I guess, has been I build an already existing um, model uh, circuit pedal, uh, like I did the Distortion Plus and a Clon Centaur. And um, I go through and explain kind of the circuit operation and then go through some sounds. This one here is um, kind of my own design. Um, wa always wanted to design my own circuit and wanted something that kind of went from you know, overdrive to kind of full range distortion, but not a lot of switches or knobs or anything like that, just almost basic simple pedal, but kind of full range of sounds, um, best as possible anyway. And uh, Anyway, it kind of came about on the uh, the gear page, a kind of fun thread we had there. It uh, somehow came up that I'd build like a kind of a gear page themed uh, you know, overdrive distortion. Uh, again, I've wanted to do that, and so just thought it fun to be kind of tie it into that. So um, it's this. So what we have here is just that, and I guess we're calling it uh, the. Uh, Teachy B uh, Barbershop Clipper Drive. And um, that's kind of the name of the fun thread that uh, people get involved in. Um, anyway, I'm going to not, I'm not really going to go through full circuit analysis on this one. I'm going to kind of explain how it's, you know, what, what the stages are and whatnot, but um, do that fairly quickly and just kind of get to some sounds. Um, so let's start right up. Basically, this is a four stage. There's four amplifier stages in this. First stage is right here, um, JFET. So like a JFET boost circuit. Um, I got that idea kind of from the MX, or I'm sorry, the Boss DS1. Actually has this transistor boost stage before its op amp stages. And I thought that was interesting. And one one modification I would do, and maybe one day I'll do a breadboard build on the DS1. And a good mod or a mod I would do is actually make that uh, initial stage adjustable. It's not in the DS1, um, so I would put a pot in between that stage and the and the op amp stage, and make that adjustable. And that's what I've done here. I've I've it, you know, for, for one, I've made it JFET instead of uh, BJT but, you know, for input impedance, but I've also put a pot in between there, and that's this guy here. We're going to call that like a preamp, preamp gain or preamp gain stage, whatever you want to call it. Um, then into the next stage, which is the first first stage of that uh, TLO72. It's a TLO72 op amp chip, which is a dual op amp. Um, I'm basically taking two of those op amps and kind of st staging them together. So that's the second stage and third stage. And it's kind of put together a similar fashion to the Marshall Governor. Um, first stage, the feedback path has the this potentiometer in, in it, 100K. And then it's feeding the next stage, which is a fixed, that f the feedback loop has a fixed resistance in it. Um, so basically what happens is you the, the the more you turn this up, the less resistance it is, and it, or the more resistance it is, and it just bangs that, just really slams that third stage. In my case, um, that second uh, 072 op amp stage, and really just increases the amplitude, which starts even just natural clipping beyond any of that. Um, then after that, we have a uh, a tone stage, and it's just a simple low pass filter. And uh, and the way I've done this circuit is, it's it's kind of interactive based on what on the on the gain levels. You'll see that as I play sounds. Like the lower the gain, you want the treble up a little bit. You know that as you you know as you the gain goes down, the high end rolls off, or or the bass comes up. What what whatever the case, and vice versa. The gain goes up and it's it starts getting pretty you know high frequency, and you want the the, the tone to go down. I'm sorry, I'm going to be bumping that every so often, so 
Sorry to make everyone sick out there, but uh, I'll try to avoid it the best I can. Anyway, um, just to get, try to get quickly through this. Last stage is just a single op amp. That's a 741 chip. Um, single op amp. What I wanted to do was instead of just a volume at the end of this, I wanted um, I wanted to be able to boost. Um, our clipping is I've actually picked uh, germanium uh, diodes, and you get a really big reduction in volume um, with germanium um, diodes as clippers. So the idea being is this this is an amplifier <laughs> fixed. I, and once again, this resistor here is the feedback loop resistor but and then then off of that is the potentiometer so y you can bring your bring your clippers in bring your you know the, the diodes in it's going to reduce that it's, and the amplitude is going to be reduced you'll get that drive sound but it's much lower volume but you can just turn around and fix that by cranking this guy back up i'm, I'm re-amplifying you're basically amplifying that clip signal um, so that's basically it. Uh, uh, let's get to some sound. I guess any other points that I can think of. Um, oh, yeah, I knew I was kind of forgetting something. I haven't decided yet whether you notice this switch right here. You mean these diodes too? I was originally going for it all. I guess I was going to give it an option of asymmetrical soft clipping and uh, symmetrical hard clipping and different switches and switch them in and out. And I kind of found that redundant, the, the soft clipping. The, the, the range of gain you get throughout the, the two different levels, the two different knobs, and I kind of didn't, kind of didn't really need that. But I'm still thinking of uh, making the, the, these diodes being able to switch in and out. Um, again, it's, it's a lot louder. It, you don't put these diodes in and it, it's a good up volume increase. And, and you crank this last guy up and you can really hit the front of the amp pretty hard um, plus just the way the circuit's set up it's got plenty of its own just natural clipping and it's you know it's uh, that kind of cascaded gain effect as opposed to just lopping it off um, that cascaded is kind of almost better for dynamics if you pick lighter or come off the you know roll down the volume knob and your, your, your diodes there, there's just one level and germanium k point three, and you go past that, and poof, off it goes. Whereas cascaded gain, you kind of get a little bit more of a, I hate to say it, natural sound, but it's, it's, um, it doesn't just immediately clip like right like a diode. So I may decide that may, I might keep that just that where where those diodes, you can bring them in and out, you kind of get a louder sound and get a little bit different type type of drive sound. Anyway, let's uh, get to it. Um, the guitar I'm going to use for this one's a um, Made in Mexico Fender Telecaster with DiMarzio pickups. It's got a Area T neck and Chopper T bridge. And the neck is significantly lower output, so you'll hear as I switch it. I, I kind of have to mess with knobs a little bit, but um, anyway, let's get to it. it on and off. Sounds like it's on. Yep. Um, and again, just to review, um, for nobody that's watched my other videos, this it's a breadboard setup, but it's set up just like a pedal. You know, I've got in, out, two bypass. I know I'm blocking the view, but you can see the switch when I switch it. Um, two bypass switch, and the pots are over here. And um, again, pre-gain, gain, tone, and volume. And then you can actually just call that a post gain because that's exactly what it is. So let me I'll roll the pre-gain back and start with just a... Even bypassed. Um, 
that's neck pickup. Let me switch to the to the bridge. <laughs> Pickup has a little more to it. Just from beside being in the bridge. Yeah, so pedal off and then back on. All right, let's let's crank it up a little bit more. Now you're gonna see I'm it's I don't know what the word is. Inter interactive kind of. As you're bringing volume up here, I'm gonna bring it down here. Yeah, a little bit at a time. It's late at night and there's people sleeping, so I can't go too crazy with the volume. Back to neck pickup. Pedal off. bridge do a little more gain and I'm kind of up and a little bit at a time but you can do stuff like this let me bring this preamp down a little bit more and this game up and this is what I was talking earlier about the the, the tone knob and fat fingers blocking everything and when you start doing that when this gain starts coming up the tone's got to start coming down a bit guy off back the drive off a little bit and increase the preamp I guess if, if you have this full on I'm sorry this full off and and this would be more like just a standard overdrive you would you would come in you know like I say somewhere like let's do just that somewhere right about here I think the rest of that would work, work like a normal overdrive. Neck, uh, neck pickup, switching to the bridge. And so, the full drive. So more like a traditional overdrive. So really kind of how I'm getting, I'm... That full range is just that. These two different stages going in each other. Almost like stacking pedals, really, is all I did. But just put it in one one foot switch and just four knobs. And maybe a toggle for that diode. Um, I don't know. Let's see if we can 
So let's start getting a little cranked up here. Look bright. Now, plus, it's the Telecaster, so it's. Kind of judicious about it. I'm gonna back off these volumes here and start creeping them back up. I'm gonna pull out this. I'm gonna pull out the diodes. Not pull them out, but I'm gonna take them out of the circuit. Wait, let me put them back in just to give you an idea. There's volume there. Right? Turn that up a little bit. track of where I was. Alright, bypass now. Now this is on a natural overdrive without clipping. But you get the idea. Um, without that, you see how low I am on that volume. I mean, you got to bring it down. But if I pick lighter, So anyway, that's the idea without the clipping diodes. Let's put them back in real quick. And 
And uh, anyway, so that's the uh, quick look at the uh, TGP uh, Barbershop Clipper Drive. And there can probably be some modificate, you know, some extra things I'm doing to it um, after this. But uh, that's the basic idea. Hope you enjoyed the video.